Hi, this is Gigi. Uh, in this video, I am going to prove to you that the derivative of a sum is the sum of the derivative. And that's what the sum rule is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and prove that to you. Um, here is how the proof go. We're going to use the definition of derivative. Okay, so the definition said, um, well, let's first, let's call this big function v of x to be f of x plus g of x. And we are interested in what is b prime of x, right? So by the definition, the derivative, the big derivative, which is the derivative of a sum, is limit as h go to zero of f of x plus h. But so wherever I see x, I'm going to put in x plus h. So that would be f of x plus h plus g of x plus h. That's what the first part is, minus the function evaluated at x. So that is going to be just f of x plus g of x, okay? So that would be f of x plus g of x all divided by h, okay? So first, take a look. That is the definition of derivative, okay? Did you buy that? That's the definition of derivative. Now, what am I going to show you? I'm going to show you that it's going to be the sum of the derivatives, okay? So this right here is going to be limit as h go to zero of, well, since it's a fraction, I can go ahead and write it using the common denominator h, right? And you know that when I am um, doing this subtraction right here, I could go ahead and distribute the subtraction into here. So really, that is going to be minus f of x and then minus g of x. What I'm going to do next is I could rearrange f of x plus h minus f of x. I'm going to take this and put it together with that. And then the other one, g of x, that would be plus right here, g of x plus h. Minus g of x. Okay, so do you see how a little algebra there, right? I am rewriting them. Uh, separate them in terms of they had a common denominator. I separate them in the sum, right? Okay, now I'm going to take the limit of h go to zero. The limit of h go to zero of the first part, as we know, is the derivative of f of x. And when h go to zero of the second part, that's the derivative of g of x. So there we go. I have just shown you. The derivative of a sum is the sum of the derivatives. So what happened if that was the difference? Well, it would just be subtraction instead of addition, but it's going to work the same way. I'm going to leave that one for you to prove. 